Oh, hey there. I hope you just noticed that I left the bathroom. There's a clear reason and an artistic vision as to why I decided to start this video emanating from the bathroom, looking like I just woke up. And that's because today we're gonna be uh, unboxing playing cards. But pick cake, what does the bathroom and playing cards have to do with each other? What are the similarities? Well, here's the problem. You're only thinking with two dimensions. You have to use three dimensions. You have to be a three-dimensional thinker in order to understand simple concepts. And in this case, a bathroom and a deck of playing cards, both are full of shit. Full disclosure here before we start, I have already opened up the packages because I wanted to put them on the gram. So this video is kind of me pretending to unbox cards that I have already previously unboxed. So just keep that in mind as we go along with the video. Yo, 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 it's your boy. No, no, it's not Alex Pandrea. All right, it's Pig Cake. We've actually been talking in the DMs, me and your boy Alex, and he sent me graciously a box of playing cards. Now here's the thing and the immediate point of contention and my complaint right off the bat, even though I was sent essentially free product, is the packaging. Look at this. Look at all this packaging that I have to subject myself for essentially what is 12 decks of regulation playing cards. Now I do understand that there are some people that tend to want their playing cards to come intact and complain when maybe one corner of a, of a deck of cards is dinged but that's not me. You could have essentially thrown these cards out of a cannon and I would have still been satisfied. But that's not why you're here. You're here to watch a grown man unbox packages that he may or may not have already previously unboxed. So let's just do a swish pan transition and get into it. Fucking bitch, stupid bitch. Hey, Pig Cake, why don't you script your videos? I think that would have a better flow if you actually script your videos and you know where you're going. That ruins the spontaneity. Look at this, look, I could be I could be crazy right now. You didn't know that. I didn't know that. I could have reached for the saw right now and sawed my entire left hand off. I could have done that. I wouldn't have been able to do that had I used a script. So keep that in mind, buddy, buckaroo. So let's just uh, get into this. Uh, while I'm very appreciative, Alex, that you sent me some packages, uh, they're playing cards. And I have a lot of contention when it comes to playing cards because people tend to get overhyped when it comes to cards, even though essentially what you're purchasing is a cardboard box full of paper. You're getting paperwork. That's what you're doing. It shouldn't be anything exciting to you. It should be something like going to work, but people tend to buy them, people tend to enjoy them. So I thought today, maybe I would give you guys a little bit of an unboxing, unboxing experience of some playing cards here. Uh, so let's see how I'm gonna open this up, even though I have already previously opened this up uh, with my trusty Pig Cake brand saw. So let's do this. Now, uh, usually I have a little bit of a gag when it comes to the cards that people send me. So for example, Murphy's Magic has sent me playing cards for me to review. And what I'll do is that I'll open it up with some sort of crazy object, like a, like a table saw or maybe like a, like a can of WD-40 with a, a lighter. And then I'll complain about the actual scorched condition of their playing cards. And I'll complain about maybe the uh, cards having saw marks on them. It's kind of a, a funny bit, uh, but I don't think I'm gonna do that with this particular episode because, uh, well, the bit's already worn thin. The secret is you gotta peel it like a banana. You gotta peel it like a banana, that's the secret here. Uh, so we got these brand new, we got these brand new knocks. We got these brand new, I said we got these, <clears throat> we got these brand new knocks here. You might recognize these cards from Alex Pandrea's Instagram and or anything that he's associated with because he'll go to a remote desert island, take a picture of playing cards and you know combine that traveler blog sort of style of Instagram with uh, magic virginity. And then you'll have people go, hey, why'd you take playing cards to a remote desert island? And uh, here's the thing, you should stop questioning because you're a magician. What right do you have to question anything that anybody else does? You should go back into your cave. These are the new knocks. Uh, I imagine you got the uh, 3000 X2. I'm gonna hold this just in the focus point of this camera because it's a manual focus cinema lens. So I really can't get autofocus. So you're gonna have to imagine, but that says uh, 3000 X2 right there. 3000 X2. So these are the new ones. And I believe these are the limited edition ones. 
in uh, I would consider to be pig cake pink, Alex. What's with this uh, little bit of a copyright infringement, all right? I thought I was the king of pink and here you are appropriating my color, all right? We should have a little bit of a discussion, your, your legal team and my legal team, uh, about this uh, egregious error. But they look, uh, they look quite substantial. Let's see what else is in this other box. Uh, nothing like unboxing previously unboxed content. That's what I love doing on this channel. It's actually a metaphor for the rest of this channel. You leave in the comments what you think I mean when it comes to unboxing previously unboxed content. That's good. That's good enough. Hey, you know what would be funny? If you unbox playing cards with a saw. So here, uh, we got some new decks. We got some new decks of cards. We got the Fort Knox here. We got the Fort Knox. I don't know if you could see that. Uh, that's kind of hot. We got these uh, Sp Spingali. Spingali. Uh, Co. Co. Sky Island 004. That sounds like some uh, uh, traveler blog content right there, boy. Take that out to a remote desert island. Take a picture. You know what I'm saying? Here we have the uh, Summer Knox. Uh, I need to find a beer to pair this with. I need to find some sort of alcoholic beverage and put it in a wine glass to pair this with. So that's gonna be something that's gonna be incoming in my Instagram, look out for that. And uh, here we have uh, some forbidden, uh, what, what do you call this? Forbidden, uh, Singali, some sort of snake, right? Uh, some sort of snake, if you've noticed there. Uh, snake representative of uh, Nancy Pelosi. And we have the cards, we have the lot here. We have a, a crazy amount of playing cards here. And uh, I'm really grateful, thank you, Alex. I guess uh, I would be remiss if I didn't open, if I didn't open the cards, right? Uh, so let's open these, let's open these uh, the 3000 X2 Knox. Let's, let's open these bad boys. Now the secret uh, is to preserve the cellophane. Now a lot of people think, oh hey, it's a gag that I spend so much time talking about the cellophane. But honestly, cellophane is one of my biggest passions when it comes to playing cards. Uh, and especially when it comes to the ribbon pull. The ribbon pull is probably my favorite aspect of opening up any deck of playing cards. More so than actual uh, touching, the actual touching of the playing cards themselves. So uh, this one I like because the ribbon that's uh, containing the cards. It's it's a nice, robust ribbon. Usually when it comes to these uh, playing cards that have these uh, disgusting sort of, uh, I wanna say fell off the back of a truck ribbons. I don't wanna have anything to do with you, honestly. I just want you to go into uh, a cannon and be shot up into space and uh, just keep going. But this is a nice, robust ribbon, I would say. Uh, something that I would definitely uh, be proud of. Uh, something that I'm, I'm uh, happy to, uh, to open, it makes me feel happy. Like the feelings that I have right now are happiness, uh, wonderment, um, slight homosexuality, but that's uh, latent. And uh, it really does make me feel quite substantial to open up a ribbon like that. And uh, you get a nice little bit of a, uh, this is for my, the, the religious folk out there, right? What does this remind you of? Look at this, right? What does that remind you of? Actually, better yet, I should have done this. I should have done that, right? That's more of a, akin to what I'm talking about. You guys know, a bris. This is representative of a, a bris, right? When they remove the foreskin uh, ceremoniously. And uh, here we have the, the cellophane. Right off the bat, we have the cellophane of uh, this particular deck of playing cards. Now this one is actually, a lot of people don't realize this, but this cellophane is actually manufactured in uh, Afghanistan. They use the, the sand of the desert. They uh, condense it using, um, I forgot what it's called. I think the process is called uh, pick, pick, pickling. It's pickling. And uh, you, you turn the sand of the desert into cellophane. I believe this is a cellophane number eight. Right, that's the official. This is a, a number eight style cellophane. Um, this is, uh, the, it has pros and cons, right? The pros are that it's easy to manufacture, uh, it's cheap, it protects the cards well. The cons are that you are uh, destroying the environment. Any, any place that does the pickling of cellophane like this is, uh, is pretty much destroying the um, environment because uh, one cellophane is the equivalent of I would say 3 million cows farting simultaneously. So in order to produce one deck of 3000 X2 playing cards, uh, this one bit of cellophane is the equivalent, the methane equivalent 
of uh, 3.5 million cows farting simultaneously. So just a little bit of a fun fact. I don't care because uh, honestly, I'm only going to be here for maybe 20 more years. So why would I care as to uh, the condition of the planet? Let them worry about it, right? Uh, but good job picking this one. I, I think this is an excellent choice, especially for this very futuristic deck of not playing cards. So let's uh, let's see the, the tab action here. Let's see the tab action. Solid, solid. Uh, let's try that again. Good job, good job. Let's see if I can do one of these. No bitch. There you go. Solid, solid, very nice. Okay, so let's pull this back like a banana. All right, let's open this one. Let's open this one and let's test the playing cards. Oh boy. Oh wow, look at that. You got a little bit of a stripe there, son. A little bit of a pink stripe there, son. Wow, these are uh, quite substantial. They feel thin. Uh, you got a nice little purple back, I guess, right? Uh, pur purple PLM. Right, PLM there uh, for the purple color, uh, and they uh, they they spread like um like a newborn baby. They spread like a newborn baby. I really have to get used to the angle of this camera. I realize in my infinite wisdom, it's not a direct shot down. It's uh, it's actually a very skewed, uh, very skewed shot here. But we're just gonna have to deal with that. Uh, and the cards are nice. Now again, I would probably have a gag here while we go through each and every single playing card. But uh, I have a lot of decks to go through, so I'm not going to do that for this particular gag. Uh, so if you're looking for that, maybe you should look at another deck review. All right, buddy. Uh, so we have a blank card, we have a double back card, and we have um, a bunch of other cards, right? Uh, all the favorites are here. All the favorites are here. The Ace of Spades is here, right? I don't know how I'm going to have to flip this. Uh, what else do we do? Look at the, the quartz. The quartz are a little bit kind of kooky. Right, they're kind of kooky. People like kooky courts. Uh, then we have all the clubs, and that's cool. That's cool. That's a cool deck of cards. That's like um, a cool deck of cards. Hey, man, that's a cool deck of cards, dude. This one is the limited edition one, right? So this is uh, uh, twenty-eight thirty-one of three thousand. So I guess let's open this one and uh, let's, let's get this puppy uh, rolling. You know what I'm saying? Let's get this puppy rolling. All you hood guys know what I'm talking about when I say rolling, right? And no, that's not a reference to marijuana. Uh, I'm not a, I would never eat marijuana. We have uh, another good cellophane, another robust cellophane. This is different. This one's definitely different. It's not the same as this one. If you notice, this one actually took the uh, foreskin with it. So this one took the actual foreskin with it. And uh, it's not the same uh, German, uh, sorry, Afghan manufactured one as the uh, other Knox, which is a good choice. This one is actually better the environment, uh, better for the environment, sorry. Uh, and, and it's uh, a less robust, less robust sort of cellophane. You know, this is the one that will definitely uh, not uh, encompass the entire head of a turtle if it's thrown in the ocean. It would probably uh, disintegrate, but uh, it's not going to hold the cards well. So that's just a little bit of a bummer, uh, but that's fine. So let's open this tab up. Um, and this is a limited edition one, apparently. Uh, one of 3,000, right? So this is one of 3,000. So there's only 3,000 of these in the planet. Uh, and the secret to these particular decks of playing cards is you have to remove the cellophane and you have to peel it like a, like a banana, right? You have to peel it like a banana. So when you peel it like a banana, uh, the deck comes out better. You don't have to worry about the box ever again. Uh, and then this, it's biodegradable. It's biodegradable. So this obviously is a contrast to this one. It's in a pig cake pink, right? You could do all your little, uh, let's say you want to stand in front of a bridge in Bali, right? Uh, like this, you want to stand in a bridge uh, doing one of these. I, I see so much vagina that it's literally impossible for me to do it. All right, hold up. All right, I could do this. I could do this, right? You do one of these. You're you're standing in front of a bridge, maybe uh, looking across the uh, Eiffel Tower, and you're doing one of these, right? One of those. That's uh, that's something you could do with these cards. And of course, we got all the favorites. Uh, double backer. We have the Star Joker, right? We have the Star Jokers here. You see that? A little bit of a, a little bit of a satanic thing there, right? There's five. Uh, is it six? Is it six the Jewish one or is, is six the, the Satan one? I think five is the Satan. The pentagram. Pentagram is five. All right. And you have all the usages here. The courts. Uh, you have all the clubs, right? The standard. You have the standard. They're the standards here. So you can do your little your little tricks here, right? Oh, was was this 
was this your card, right? You could do that. That's kind of cool to do for the ladies. Uh, but it's a nice deck of playing cards. It's definitely a nice deck. I appreciate the pinkness. I appreciate the, uh, look at that. Look at that. Easy. Easy. It's almost like the past does itself, right? Look at that. Nine of hearts. Guess what? On top of the deck. Look at that, boy. You could do all your little... All your little, uh, all your little fancy slights with this deck of cards. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Uh, I didn't have to do any work. The deck did that by itself. Uh, but that's nice. These are the the new ones. So uh, definitely worth a, a look if you're into playing cards. And of course, we have the classics uh, here. I was actually looking for this one. I wanted this one. Uh, I definitely wanted this one. I'm gonna take a picture with this one, and uh, maybe a beer. Maybe a beer, and I'm gonna put it in a uh, I'm gonna put it in a cognac container, right? So the same uh, the same container as a as a cognac, and I'm gonna take a really edgy picture with it. Uh, but this one's one that I've been wanting for a long time, and uh, it's actually a nice nice looking boy, right? Summer orange reminds you of uh, burning up, right? This is the color that most of you guys look like after going to the beach for 14 minutes, but uh, luckily for my thick thickened uh, Arabic skin. I'm used to the desert. I'm used to the, the sun of the desert. And these are cool. You got little pineapples here, right? You got a little pineapple here. You could do your little um, Dan and Dave stuff here, right? To thwart off all the ladies. That's how you get ladies away from you. You go up to them and you go, hey, 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 what's up? How you doing? How you doing, ma'am? And then they just uh, scurry like cockroaches. Uh, so you got uh, somewhat standard faces here. They look a little bit more bright and uh, a blank card. So uh, where did the colors go? Where did the colors go? Oh, uh, maybe they went right there. Oh, look, they're back. They're back. Uh, that was a prank. That was a prank. So that's uh, that's nice. That's nice of you. Thank you, Pandy. Um, I, I really appreciate this a lot. And uh, I hope that this video did some justice as to the actual cards themselves. I'm going to go and uh, watch the watchers. That's what I'm going to do. But apart from that, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for doing all the things that you do when it comes to videos. I really do appreciate you guys. Don't think that I'm just, uh, you know, in it for the money, right? <laughs> See, that's another downside of this particular type of cellophane. Uh, it's very adhesive to uh, metals, right? So the static, uh, because this is biodegradable, the static is uh, substantial. So uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like getting shocked. I don't like surprises. Um, but, you know, you got to do sometimes what you got to do for the environment. You got to do what you got to do for the environment sometimes, right? So um, I guess that's just a, a cost, a, a manufacturing cost uh, problem there. But apart from that, uh, that's it. That's the video. I'm going to go figure out different ways to... Uh... Oh, man, I don't even know. Did I say that already? Is that the gag? I think I'm hungover. That might be what it's. Uh, that might be what it is. But uh, stay frosty, folks. Stay frosty.